Hey everyone and welcome to this review note. In this video clip we're going to be configuring static network address translation to allow hosts on the internet to connect to a web server that would be in our DMZ. Here's my topology. I have two PCs that would be out in the internet. These would normally be coming from different networks but for our demonstration purposes being on one is fine. And then we've got our web server that is in on the DMZ. I'm going to start by configuring my router. Looking at IP addresses, gigabit zero is pointed to the internet, this network, and then gigabit one is private address in the 10 network, which is going to be in on the DMZ. First thing I need to do is configure my inside and outside interfaces. Gigabit zero is going to be outside pointing to the internet. Gigabit one is going to be inside pointing to the DMZ. Two commands very quickly. One to change to uh, interface config mode for gigabit zero and then IP NAT outside. Do the same thing for the inside interface. That's that part finished up. The only other thing we need to do is configure static NAT so that we can translate the address. Unlike we saw with something like dynamic NAT, really there's only a single command required for this. All right, command is in. Similar to PAT, IP NAT inside source in this case is going to be TCP port 80 on the web server. Static, TCP, IP address of the web server internally, port 80. Externally, IP address on the interface of the router outside, and then the port as well. Basically, we're saying in this case, anything aimed at this IP address on port 80 is going to translate to this IP address, port 80. The only other thing we have to do now is try it out. Before we do that, let's take a look at the translations as they exist now. We can see that we have a static translation that's set up it's not complete because we don't have the outside in play yet. But our inside global is this address, okay, the one that's translated, and inside local is the actual IP address on the host. going to aim for the IP address that is on the external interface of my router. I can't go directly to the web uh, server because I can't see that from the internet. That's successful. Going to do the same thing on PC2. Successful as well. Go back into the router and look at the translations now. We can see some additional translations. In all cases, our translated address is going to say the same, again on port 80. Our IP address on the host that we're connecting to the web server is going to be the same, port 80. But notice that the IP addresses that we're connecting from are now going to be different. So my source address here is .10 for the host component, and source address here is .20 for the host component. That's setting up static NAT, or port forwarding, as we more commonly call it. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.